All right, guys, it's exactly one year later and we made it to the beach. Yes, we are in Beach Jeep and it's perfect. Yeah. yeah. You girls yeah. having fun? Yeah. 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 Perfect. You like the Jeep? Yeah. Yeah. It is really amazing, babe. I'm Aww. so proud of you. You are so sexy. We did it. Daddy, 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 daddy. Oh man, my dream is a nightmare. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and today in the project marks our one year anniversary. That's right, July 12, 2018, I started this whole thing, me and Beach Jeep over here. Um, so for this video, I'm gonna give you guys some Beach Jeep updates. I'm gonna give you a channel update with all the other vehicles. I'll do some behind the scenes. I'll give you some bloopers and uh, we're gonna have a good time. So uh, to start this off, we're going to talk about Beach Jeep. All right, guys, so here it is, Beach Jeep, my 2001 Jeep Cherokee XJ. Uh, this was my daily driver for about 10 years. I got up to about 150,000, no, 250,000 miles, and then got a really bad rod knock. So I uh, pulled the engine, it's over there. Uh, I got a new engine from that black vehicle. Um, so this thing was good to go. I was gonna tear it down, because, well, it used to be nice. <laughs> it's completely gutted now. You witnessed it before your eyes. Turn the crap on the project right here. But yeah, it used to be nice. Um, I was going to put in that new engine in here. And, um, you know, we were going to have a grand old time in, in Beach Jeep. That was the plan. Put my family in it. Put my wife, my three girls in Beach Jeep. And take it out onto the beach. Bring everything we needed. The goal here is to put my whole family, my wife, my three kids, and everything we need for a day at the beach inside this thing. And not have to worry about anything else. So, my, uh, my plans for this off-road beast came to a halt uh, a couple months ago. Um, right before I was going to start welding up the floor pan and the, the engine rot. Um, see, what happened is, <laughs> I have to sit down for this, we found out that my wife is pregnant. Yes, she's pregnant with our fourth child. So, that kind of makes Beach Jeep um, in a Cherokee a moot point since... Cherokees are only five seaters. What am I gonna do with that extra kid? <laughs> There's no place to put them. So since Beach Jeep is a moot point, production kind of came to a halt. Um, I'm not gonna scrap this project. I love XJs way too much to give up on my family Beach Jeep. So I've been thinking long and hard about a way to kind of reinvent this project and uh, continue this to fit a family of six in it. Five plus one, six. Um, and I came to a conclusion. I know what I need now to finish this. I need a two-door Cherokee parts car. Um, I'm going to be cutting things up. Now, I don't want to take any two-door and start hacking it to pieces. I think two-door Cherokees are way too precious to be doing that. So I'm looking for a wrecked front-end collision Cherokee that's two-door. Um, if you know of one, send it my way. If you have a Cherokee just sitting around rotten, send it my way. Well, not rotting. I need the body to be in good condition. Uh, no rust, no rot. Um, anything else could be in disrepair. It doesn't have to run. It could look like garbage. The only uh, stipulations I need is it has to be a 97 to 2001 with a black interior. Preferably four-wheel drive. Doesn't have to be, but that's it. If you got one, if you know of one sitting around, I want it. So that's it. Uh, I've been looking on the salvage auctions. Um, I don't mind a front-end collision. This way I could cut it up and have no guilt, no worries. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, to this, I mean, for this to continue, I'm going to need that two-door Cherokee. So until then, uh, Beach Sheep is just going to be chilling. Um, Should have been done by now. That's kind of why I'm a little... Uh, uh, I want to get this done. But no rush now. It's going to be a long-term project. Uh, let me know if you have any two-door Cherokees in the neighborhood. I even have my 20s ready to go. Uh, so that's it. That's it for Beach Jeep. That's on hold. So let's go check out uh, General Grievous and uh, Black Beauty. And say hi to Blue as we pass. Hi, Blue. Uh, <laughs> Blue needs a clutch. <laughs> I need a clutch for Blue. Um, let's see, a clutch, I need exhaust pipes, uh, a clutch cable, a speedo cable, and some headlights. Blue needs that. So, uh, 
yeah, here we are. Here is the general, looking good in its present condition. And of course, a black beauty always looks good. <laughs> Man, I love that XJ. So here, yeah, let's take a look at the present condition of the general. All right, so inside the general, I fixed the seat pad. Check it out. I found this from a, another Grand Cherokee ZJ. Um, this was a passenger seat, and I did a whole uh, swappy thing, you know. Uh, I filmed it. I got a video coming out on that soon. Uh, I still have to <laughs> do that mirror, and I got a vehicle information center, so the VIC is in, and I restored the trim back to original. Other than that, uh, stock, completely stock, running great. I got actually a lot of videos that I filmed on this that I have to release to catch you guys up. Um, but yeah, this ZJ is sweet. Uh, I love it. I've been daily driving it. I've actually been getting almost 16 miles per gallon on this thing. Uh, I also have that uh, Allstate DriveWise thing that's sending my uh, driving information to Allstate to get a good Allstate discount. And I've been really babying this thing, treating it right, and it's I'm, I'm loving it, man. It's awesome. And check out these Ultra Stars. I restored these wheels. I think these will be this will be my next video coming up. Um, man, they're sweet. I am loving this ZJ. Couldn't be happier with those wheels. That's it. Now, Black Beauty. Check out Black Beauty. Still looking good. Um, I need to do that disc conversion back here. I've been wanting to do that for so long. I have the parts for it. I've just been really busy. Um, it'll happen one day. Hang in there, guys. And check this out. I'm going to park this right here for a minute. Now take a good look at these fog lights. I don't know if you can see it, but I got a couple LEDs out in here. Now, a bunch of you guys wanted me to do a video on these fog lights. See, that one's flickering. And uh, I was going to, but <laughs> I really haven't gotten around to buying new fog lights. I wanted to show you how to replace these. And uh, let me show you what happened. Check this out, guys. A uh, company called Z-Moon. They actually sent me six inch LED light bars. Now, um, these are a perfect replacement for those six inch LED light bars. And I will do a video and a review on these light bars. I'll show you how to put them in an XJ. Um, <laughs> you guys asked for it, you got it. So thank you, Z-Moon. Um, I'll take care of you on that one. They even sent a wire harness, so that's fantastic. And even better, aux beam. They sent me, ooh, stickers. Oxbeam sent me four inch LED light pods. There we go. <laughs> Check out these awesome light pods. Now these are the four inch uh, light pods from Oxbeam. And I always wanted to put lights right here in the XJ in the grill. I was planning on putting uh, lights on the side of the grill, but I didn't get around to that. And uh, I think these might be the, uh, the way to do it. Uh, you know what? When I built this XJ, I even included another fog light switch in my switch bezel. And this switch is already wired up, ready to go. So, that's gonna happen. Thank you, Oxbeam, as well. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna do an install video, give you a review. Thank you so much. I'm extremely blessed. Yep. So, <laughs> yeah, that's my new uh, light products thank you so much z moon thank you so much aux beam looking forward to getting those in the jeep stay tuned for the video and the reviews on that uh also for general grievous i gotta do the rear view mirror soon still soon still um here is the adhesive i got for it um here is a tint it's a sun shield tint um I also have to do the coolant flush still. This is my coolant I got for it. Got a thermostat, gasket, still uh, waiting to do that. Um, it's on the list of things to do. Let's see. While we're in the garage, I might as well give you a behind the scenes. 
I got uh, ZJ door panels, so that's coming too. Um, I also have the ZJ uh, rain guards that I scored from the junkyard. <laughs> I got some too, Doug. I bet he's going to put out the video first. He's way more efficient than I am. <laughs> but, oh well. Uh, he'll have the video. Props to him. <laughs> Everybody, if you want to see these go in, stay tuned for our D&E video. On a WJ, though, so. Uh, here is some parts for my XK, my uh, commander. Um, <laughs> I still have the mirror I have to do. Don't know what's taken me so long to do that. Um, here, check this out. Here are DVD players. These were from a Ford Explorer, but I got uh, an extra headrest for a commander, and I might try to retrofit them in. Now, it's gonna be complicated. Uh, I need to tweak a few things. They're, they're different uh, studs in here, so. Um, that's gonna be a good project. I gotta figure some stuff out. Uh, I'm gonna need it, because now I have four kids to put in a commander. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so that's that. And yeah, here is the garage. Here is where I work all the time. Uh, bunch of tools, bunch of products up there. More tools down here. This side usually piles up with crap, <laughs> as you can see here. And I guess I do most of the working on this bench over here. Uh, I got my DeWalt tools. I was going to make a video on DeWalt tools. Haven't gotten around to it. Hey, there's my mirror. <laughs> What's up? I don't know why I put that there. But uh, this is cool right here. This is, uh, these are car speakers. And my sound unit is all wired in here with the light switch. Um, yeah, uh, this is a computer I use in the garage. Let's see, where's my tunes? Play. Play. Yeah. Those things jam. <laughs> I'm gonna get copyright banged. Oh, no, 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 see, copyright. Uh, here is a fan, you know, when it gets hot garage crank this on <laughs> got a spare mustang rim up there i got my bmx bikes dangling from the roof very into bmx i used to race as a kid cool i'm into the bike thing and i got speakers up there from when i used to dj yeah, a lifetime ago and that's it man that's the garage you know what i'll continue the behind the scenes um, here is the tripod. This is what I use to film. I started the YouTube channel. I got this tripod. Um, it cost me 25 bucks on Amazon. Um, and I film with my cell phone. I started out with the Galaxy S8. And the S8, it did not really have a, a good wide angle lens. So I bought this. This is a wide angle lens that I just broke. Oh, that's going on the bloopers. Damn it, this one hand stuff. Well, it seems to be all right. But I don't need this anymore because the Galaxy S10 has a built-in wide angle. I'll show you. This this is wide angle right now. That's regular. And that's a zoom. So back to wide angle. So I don't need this. Well, hope it's not broke, but I don't need it. <laughs> uh, I suck. And this tripod is collapsible. I don't know if you saw it, but when I did the polar plunge with Doug and Eric, I set this right up on the beach. This was awesome. Came in handy. I think I'm gonna put my towel on the tripod. Nice towel rack. That would be a good place for it. You'll find it again. So if you guys wanna start YouTubing, you're definitely gonna need a tripod. I'll put a link in the description to one of these things. It's fantastic. Uh, the only modifications I did was mount a Rhodes video mic to it. So when it's on the tripod and I'm standing far away, I just plug the mic into my phone. And that's it. 
<laughs> nice portable video system on my phone with the zoom lens for a Galaxy S8. All right. Now, you know what? Since I got my computer up, let me show you this. I just reached 3,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. That's awesome. I really appreciate that. You guys rock. I appreciate your continued support. And let me give a shout out to all these guys. You guys comment every single video. I really appreciate it. So shout out to Sean McDonald. I'm doing your switch when I put in those fog lights. I got Rob. Rob's been there since day one. Eric, what's up, Eric? Uh, geez, who we got? Dan Hambrick, you are a solid subscriber, man. Thank you so much. Every video you comment, JTM Off-Road, what a sick avalanche. All you guys, D&E, Doug and Eric, what up, Doug? 1993 Cherokee, awesome. Bearded Jeeper, what up? Bug, how you doing, Bug? Major Weakness, all you guys. You guys comment every single time. Alex Billion, <laughs> my man. Guys, thank you so much again. And if I missed any of you, I apologize. Um, there's 3,000 of you. And I thank each and every one of you. So I appreciate it. All right, let's go inside. I want to show you a ton of Jeep parts and where I edit my videos. All right, you guys ready? Boom. Look at that. <laughs> this is a ton of Jeep XJ parts. Yep, it is packed in here. Packed to the gills, <laughs> full of Jeep parts. It's so packed, you can't even see how packed it really is. <laughs> well, yeah, this is probably about three or four Cherokee XJs worth of parts. Um, I, I even have some ZJ parts in here now. I gotta, gotta get used to ZJ parts, because I have a ZJ. And there, right there, look at that. We got Beach Jeep's header panel. Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> well, all right, guys. Let's go upstairs. Got something else to show you. <laughs> all right. Behind the scenes. You know, guys, I actually have four goldfish. I don't know their names, but I have them. <laughs> My daughters know them. And I got a ton of Yankee hats. That's right. I love the New York Yankees <laughs> and movies. I got a ton of movies also, hence all the movie quotes in my videos. I could basically just pick out a movie and uh, give you a quote. Um, I actually have a quote for a little clip I filmed today. I saw a praying mantis. Do you know praying mantis? You're looking at it. Boom, Robin Hood Men in Tights. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Mel Brooks. And uh, here we go. Well, this is my American flag door that I handmade. I actually put in LEDs into the door frame, so the flag will always be lit. Much respect to America. I love this flag. Gotta straighten out the flag. Can't have a crooked flag. There we go. Love that thing. That's right, I'll say it again. And check it out, I stopped wearing Nikes because Nike doesn't love America. So this is the playroom, <laughs> playroom by day, uh, office by night. So this is where I uh, do all my editing on the computer. It's a PC and I use um, Adobe Premiere Pro. And uh, we're at now now. Everything that's happening now is happening now. You're looking at now, sir. Everything that happens now is happening now. What happened to then? We passed then. When? Just now. Wear it now, now. <laughs> Spaceballs. Another classic Mel Brooks movie. Uh, so check this out, guys. I got some Project Dan H stickers. Uh, let me know if you're interested. I was thinking about maybe selling these, uh, putting them online. Maybe you guys could send me a couple bucks. I'll send you a sticker. Uh, these are two by two. I can make them bigger if you want. And, uh, you know, if you want to support the channel, it'd be kind of cool to have some extra fundage for uh, Project Beach Jeep, maybe. Maybe we'll get that going. So, uh, yeah. Right now, I'm going to uh, gather some more footage 
for uh, my my bloopers, my uh, outtakes, deleted scenes, uh, stuff you guys have never seen before. Probably because it's just me being an idiot. So yeah, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> hope you enjoy that. And uh, I'm gonna have my beer. I'm gonna do that. Corona, Corona and Yankees can't beat that. And um, yeah, I'll meet you outside for the uh, outro. All right, guys. No, no. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? I'm Dan H, and welcome back to the project. I know it's been a little bit, but we're finally back out here with Project Beach Jeep. But uh, the time has come where we could work on this engine bay. We're gonna cut out this disgusting rusted part underneath the battery tray. Oh my gosh. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, what's up, YouTube? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Oil drain, um, what do you call it? I got a new drain pan. One, two, three, up. Just so you can... Hey man! I like your XJ. I know, you. And we're gonna use this. Some. So you know, those are not my kids screaming in the background. And that's not my bird either. No, don't go off this lip. This is so cool. And dirty. You farted. Not me. So please leave any comments without scratching your paint. Airplanes, man. Unbelievable. Cut a little bit more. A little bit more. Cut more. Straighten out. Perfect. Yay! Happy Beach Jeep. That's our first family trip in Beach Jeep. Are you just avoiding the sign that says no vehicles beyond this point? Babe? Uh, we tried our best. Not perfect. Uh, right now it looks like a shopping cart hit it instead of a minivan. No! The oil pan! No! Oh, it's a lot more than I thought. Dang it. So that was a huge fail. Is that a good thumbnail? Gotta show the pain? I need to show the pain in my eyes. Where are my keys? Lost my keys! I don't have the keys. I am locked out. Excuse me, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Felt that coming. Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Dan H. Nothing? 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 Oh. <laughs> it just fell on me. <laughs> All right, I think I separated the air panel. Ah! It's just one of those days. 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's teardown. Please do... Wow, broke that right off. Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Dan H, and welcome to the project. All right, that's gonna do it for today's teardown. Please remember to give this video a like, and please remember to subscribe so you can continue to follow. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed all those clips of me being an idiot. I guess it just comes natural. But stay tuned for another year of awesome content on this ZJ, this XJ, and that XK. I even got some Mustang work to do. Um, help me out with Beach Jeep, guys. I need that two-door. Remember, 9701, black interior, alright? The, the rear has to be solid. Um, no rust, no rot. Could be in a front-end collision. I don't care. Um, let me know if you find one. Um, thank you again. I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Remember to... Airplane! One whole year of that ruining every shot. What are you going to do? Like and subscribe. See you on the next project.